So this tweet, like, what, what were you what were you thinking when you sent this tweet? I don't know. Yeah, Do you remember? Be honest. Yeah, I remember doing it and and sending it, but I didn't have a clue what whether it was just going to you or everyone <laughs> could see it. I didn't know what was going on. I remember you? Um, I think you were the first on Twitter in the dressing room, and yeah. remember you kept saying about it. So I thought I'll try it, and um, I didn't, <laughs> didn't have a clue what I was doing. To be honest. <laughs> Sent a few mad ones in the in my time as well. So, who, to who? Who, who you sent on? Um, I tweeted just Mr. Bean, funny. <laughs> um, tweeted Whitney Houston. Uh, well, about Whitney Houston when she passed away. Um, what, what? What? What did you, what did you tweet her? Um, I want to run to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, just a song. Oh my god! No, just a song. And it's emotional. You, you're I so sad. I, really, yeah. I used to love. I used to love Whitney Houston, and I was gutted. When she died. Oh man, I can just picture you now thinking, what can I do to to console her? And a tweet, yeah, a tweet's gonna be about right. Yeah, but it's mad in it how social media has gone now. Pure I pressure. remember you saying and, um, when it was first started getting getting big, whatever about it. It was like no chance, and then yeah, crazy. crazy. No, it's part of everyone's conversation. You're signing a player to say how many followers you've yeah. got. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's nuts. Absolutely crazy. It's weird, isn't it? Because we played, obviously, in the Sunday papers and match of the day and it was really the, the main talking points after a game. Now, it's like... Oh, you use managing, obviously, but players coming in after a game and straight on their phones looking at what people yeah, are saying. Yeah, it's so different. So different. Like, even... I used to turn my phone off before we go into the stadium. I wouldn't turn it back on until we get back on the team bus, whatever. Where now it's just so different. The phones are everywhere. It's just crazy. And you can try and control it and yeah, yeah. and stop it, but it's just the way it's gone. I, I, I can't imagine, in, from just because of when we played, I couldn't imagine seeing one of the lads fully kitted up, shin pads on, boots on, and on their phone. Yeah, but I've seen players before, not when I was being a manager, but when I was playing. I've seen players on FaceTime in the dressing room to people. No way. I've wow. pulled them on in to see what they're doing, but like, to the mate or the <laughs> wife or whoever, like, what are you doing? I just can't get my head around that. I used to do my head in when someone would come in, like Albert the Kitman would come around. You forgot to leave your, your two mates' tickets. You've got to sort it out, and my head would just be fried. I'd be going, I've pre- got to prepare for a game like And then you go, just please, you sort it out or whatever, yeah. let alone being on the phone talking to someone. Wow. It's mad, isn't it? It's just different, isn't it? Yeah, and then I think as well, players who now are looking to see what, what fans are saying after the game and that. Mm. And you can have the best game you've ever played in your life and you're still going to get hammered. Yeah, yeah, it's by, true. Yeah. By people, so I don't get why some of the lads keep looking to see what people are saying after the game. Yes, it's true, isn't it? It's like you, you play well, you know yourself, don't you? You always know. If this, if someone says you played rubbish or you got a five in the paper but you knew you was an eight, you never really considered the, the paper's view. But now it's like yeah, you've got Charlie in, in bloody Bolton who reckons you was rubbish and yeah. he's dictating to you how your confidence is. I don't know. Mad. Do you still get, do you get a, any feelings when you come to the stadium like this? Yeah, it's, it's mad. You still obviously get that. I suppose I think when you come round here and you turn into the car yeah. park and you go over the ramp. Yeah. yeah. Um, it brings back memories, doesn't it? And mm. Obviously really good memories and playing shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Cards. No, but it's um, obviously because 'cause I'm still living around, well not here, but still yeah, yeah. in this area as well and the kids obviously playing two of them at United as well, so um here quite a bit well not at the stadium all the time, but obviously... you still got your box here? No, I haven't got it. Um, company's got one, um, which obviously is, different, people, yeah. different people go in, but um, no, it's great and it's a good thing the kids as well. Yeah. There are moments you don't have, obviously, when you're playing, you to actually be in the in the stand and in the stadium with the kids as well, watching. I was it's talking good. to my boys about that the other day. I was talking about the Euros. And we're organising, going and watching some games with my lads because we, we were sitting there going, we haven't actually been to many games yeah. together to watch a game. I've never, I don't think, I think I've sat with my kids twice and watched a football match. Well, I went to the Euros when England got the final. 
I went to the majority of the games. I think I missed one I mean, with the kids in the stands. No, did you? Oh, so just sat in the stands. Um, that was brilliant, and obviously got so close as well. Yeah, yeah. And I was, it was good. Yeah, Kate, Kate goes with them, and my dad has taken them a few times, but I've never, because I'm working a lot of the time, I never get to do it. That's the thing, you know, you obviously, most weekends you, you'll be obviously working. And yeah. Yeah. It's the same with me when, when I was, obviously, when you're managing, you just don't have the time. Mm. It's hard, isn't it? Balancing that. Yeah. All this security now, it's mad, isn't it? How old are they? There's more people than ever now, isn't there? Bloody hell. Go on. Oh, I've got it, yeah, I've got it. Oh, yeah.